Uh, we're really uh, enthusiastic about how the apprenticeship program is going. The number of standards available, we think, is increasingly not an issue. We're about to breach the 400 mark, which is really exciting across all the sectors. Uh, the number of starts on uh, standards is now exceeding the number of starts on frameworks, so that's excellent. And we're seeing the growth in the quality of the programme, both the levels at which apprenticeships are being delivering, delivering, but also the training content and some of those other key things that are so important to making a standard what it is. Yeah, what we're seeing is a, uh, is a movement away from frameworks to standards. Uh, in April, 40% of apprenticeship starts from standards. By June, it was 54%. And we're seeing employers choosing standards where they have a choice between a standard and a framework. And really significant uh, was the Chancellor's recent announcement that frameworks are going to be turned off in, in 2020. So, uh, you know, we feel really confident about this migration and the move forwards. And what's really important for us is that, first of all, standards are moving up the quality threshold, uh, but also they're working across uh, all sectors of the economy. And finally, uh, they're working from level two right up to level six, level seven, and we're seeing the number of starts at the top end of apprenticeships going up. You uh, also gave some interesting statistics around the future of, of apprenticeships and funding in the, in years ahead. Do you want to unpack that a little bit more? Yeah, I think um, you know the levy is fully used now. There's a common misunderstanding that there's spare levy around that, but that is simply not the case. Um, and actually, as we're looking towards the future. Um, it's becoming increasingly evident that we're going to have to think really carefully about how we make um, the, the money that's available in the levy go further. And there are going to be significant challenges as we see this growth in apprenticeships, as we see um, the number of standards come online as to how we uh, make the levy work where we really want it to work. And I know that's something that the department uh, is beginning to think about and the Minister for Skills has been very open about. The endpoint assessment is absolutely critical to the delivery of apprenticeship standards. It is the key checkout event. Um, and of course, we're the only, the second country in the world that's embracing this concept of an endpoint assessment. And I would say that that's not a reason to be nervous. And in fact, we're hearing from employers that uh, actually it works well and apprentices in, enjoy it. Um, uh, or certainly enjoy the experience of passing through that and feel they've achieved something when they've reached that threshold level. Um, in terms of taking it forward, we're really keen to make sure that the, uh, the community of assessors is drawn uh, not only from the educational sector, but actually has a significant quotient uh, who come from industry itself, from businesses. So we've got practitioners, and I think that's a uh, distinguishing feature of vocational education, and I think it needs to be reflected in the apprenticeship uh, system and we're working hard to make sure with our you know co-partners people like the FSA and the uh, and NAS to make sure that actually this does happen and I think employers can play a part in this as well and actually it's not only doing it it's that um, it's actually a very satisfying thing to do and certainly those assessors that I meet um, they really enjoy the experience and it makes them think that they're adding back into their business which of course, we all think it's a, um, it's a great thing to do.